I want to go over some potential college football playoff teams for the 2024 football season. And I even listed group of five because the highest ranked group of five champion is in the 12 team college football playoff. And this is the first year for the 12 team college football playoff. So now the only independent school I could see make college football playoff is simple. Nordane. At 11 and one or 12 and 0, I think they, they probably get in. 10 and 2, not so sure because they won't play in a conference championship game. And they don't like play in a real com they don't play conference at all. Now from the SEC, I think th the following teams could be potential. Georgia, Tennessee, Alabama, Ole Miss, Missouri, LSU, Oklahoma, and Texas. Yes, I throw it in Oklahoma only if they go ten and two. If obviously for any of these P4 teams, 9-3 might not cut it. Might not. If you lose, of course, a pair of 10-2 teams, then you lose that game, then yeah, I don't think they get in. But if you're like 9-3 and three and you're highest, like they're a champion, I, yeah, I think you might get in with three losses if you're a conference champion. It's just, I'm pretty sure they would get in. It's more like the at-large. I don't, I don't see it. I mean, you don't have to go 11 and one or undefeated anymore. Like in the past with the 14 college football playoff, as we all know. Now from the big 10, I see the following teams, Ohio state, Michigan, Penn state, Iowa, and Wisconsin. Yes, I threw Wisconsin in only if they go 10 and two I, and they don't make the conference championship game. But if they obviously don't, if they get to the championship game and lose, they're done. Iowa, it's kind of tricky because of their offense. But if they go 10 and 2 and they don't make the conference championship game, maybe you can make a case. Possibly. I mean, Michigan, they're not going to be as good as last year's team. I don't see, that's obvious. They're not going to be as good as last year's team. I don't see undefeated for them. But one or two lost team, they could still get in. As long as they win a championship. And Ohio State has one of the better rosters going into this year as well. If you look at it up and down. I mean. Now can they get there? <laughs> I would think so. But you never know. And Penn State's interesting too. Because what if they're a two loss team. And they're an at large. That's potential. Now from the ACC. And these teams I'm listing here. Are no in particular order. SMU. Florida State, Clemson, Miami, Florida, and Syracuse. Syracuse is an outlier because what if they go 10-2 and two and they don't get to the championship, ACC championship game? Pop, and I, it's because they do have Kyle McCord at quarterback, and, they, and I like their schedule, and it's not that terrible if you look at it. But after that, it's more like 9-3 at best for them. And Miami, Florida, can they really – live up to the town. I think they can with all the guys they got through the transfer portal, but if they don't get to the college football playoff this year or ACC championship, it's not, it's definitely on the coaching staff and not the talent. I mean, that's the thing and about it is, of course, there could be injuries along the way. Clemson is a team that I think if they're a two-loss team, I think, and win the ACC, I think they still could, they'll definitely get in. What's tricky about them is they play Georgia game one. Yikes. And you have to run the table with one more. They're probably going to lose at least one other time, I would think. Personally, in Florida State, as we all know, they lose a lot of production. They're not going to be the same team as last year. But I think 10-2, and two, and they win the ACC, I think they could get in. I think so. I mean, SMU is probably the... I would considered like a way too early favorite but it's it's debatable in that in our conference this year so and all SMU could get in obviously with win the conference championship and they go 10 and 2 so you know you know now from the big 12 that's more wide open in my opinion 
I'm not even going with the following teams. Kansas State, West Virginia, Iowa State, Utah, Oklahoma State, and Kansas. Kansas is only if they stay healthy and they go 10-2. But honestly, if they go 9-3, and and for all these teams here if you're in the P4, if you go 9-3 and win the conference championship, I think you might be ranked high enough to get in, but I don't know. But definitely 10-2 at the minimum and win the conference championship, I think you, you should get in. I'm throwing in West Virginia in there because they do have Penn State game one, and if they win that game and they only lose two or twice I, and for the rest, uh, rest of the way and, and win the Big 12 championship, that's possible. And obviously Oklahoma State, yeah, makes sense with the production they have back. And surely they can improve their defense, but I could tell – I could see them take a little step backwards, but yet they could go 10-2. and two. I mean, that's the thing. And Alan Bowman does need to be better in terms of touchdowns to interception ratio. And it's not a lie. Look at the numbers. Iowa State's interesting to me because what if they lose to Iowa game one? Are they going to go 8-1 and one for, I mean, 9-1 and one the rest of the way? That's going to be a challenge. They always seem to lose to Iowa. Yes, they beat Iowa when they had a losing season, but they don't beat them consist consistently. Like under Matt Campbell, and even before that, I mean, you get the point when you look at the series history. It's been lately Iowa's owned Iowa State, Utah. I think they deserve to be on that list. But my biggest question is Cam Rising, is he going to be healthy this year? Because if he's not, they don't have a backup quarterback that has a lot of experience that played last year in that system. Because both of those backups are in the, tra they enter the transport and went to other schools. And yes, I know they got Sam Heward now as a backup, but you get the whole point. I think that's possible. And Kansas State, I think that's very realistic. So really, it's just wide open in the Big 12 this year. And these are no particular order. So now I went over that. Now, from the Mountain West, really the best team, I think, from the Mountain West is like Boise State. Though I would not sleep on Fresno State. You know, V. That's, and that's the thing. I would not sleep on those other two schools. When you, I try to take it into account, like, transfer portal addition and subtraction and graduating class I tried to and it all depends on for these group of five teams here that I'm going to list are you going to be ranked high enough to be considered that so I think Boise State's probably the best team from the Mountain West to do it but we'll have to wait and see now from Conference USA I mean, yeah, actually, I want to go to the American next. My bad. Maybe UAB, if they go 10-2 and two and they win the championship and they get ranked high enough. UTSA, same thing. But I would think Memphis and Tulane are the two better teams. Memphis, especially because they return the head coach and they have a lot of production coming back on offense. So as long as they improve their defense, I think they could win the, Ameri the American. And they could they could be ranked high enough to be there. Tulane does have a really good head, new head coach, too. I mean, that's true when you look at the track record. Now, from the Sun Belt, it's, believe it or not, I think possibly like three. But I don't know how likely it is because the, con the schedules might not allow it within conference. And you got to sneak in some Power 5, like if they play a Power 5, you got to find a way to sneak that a win in there like Costa Carolina, App State. And I'm even throwing Texas State in there. I really do believe Texas State will have the offense. And I know they lost their quarterback to the transfer portal, but they got somebody else. And App State's been a good football program in the past, so it makes sense. And Costa Carolina, I know they lost Jamie Chinawell a few years ago, but I think they're, they're going to be good this year too. So I don't know about them. Now, Conference USA now, really the best team for that is Liberty. 
I mean, they've made a New York Six Bowl game a year ago. And I think if they go undefeated and win every, like in, in their champ, conference championship game too, they might get there. They might. Kind of like last year for the New York Six over SMU, for example. So we're going to have to wait and see. Maybe Western Kentucky is another team in the mix, but I don't know how realistic that is. Now, the only max school I could technically see is Ohio, but even then, it's very, very unlikely. So, I know I listed some teams that are unlikely on this list for the group of five and possibly in the power four, but I tried to be realistic as possible when I try to look at the schedule too, not just returning production and what they lost to the NFL and transfer portal up to this point. And this is also pending transfer portal additions too. You got to keep that in mind. So I just want to go over this idea here for who's some potential college football playoff teams for the 2024 football season. So anyways, if you like this content, hit the like and subscribe and see you guys later on the road to 700 subscribers. Of course, the ultimate goal is a thousand more so many money off this course like a video. Comment video really helps YouTube algorithms so more people people could see it. Sharing the video does help as well as so more people could watch. And if you're watching, not subscribe, hit the subscribe button, ring the notification bell as well. And I did say 700 because as, as you could tell, now I have 600. Now the next goal is 700 here. Let's go.